Hey, Dave Lacalio with Head Games Motorworks. Today we are going to test surface finish on this B58 R&D project. Been showing you everything so far. Does sanding it make a difference? Be sure to watch. Check it out. All right, so I took out the little nub on the intake port and I picked up two to 10 CFM uh, from 200 lift to 400 lift, but I lost two to three CFM from one to 200 lift. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. and actually could help a little bit with reversion. So here's something else I haven't showed you. If you've noticed all these videos, I haven't used an orifice. An orifice, as you can see here, orifice is for so air can go into the intake port very nicely, right? So I, I have been flowing it like this, and now that we're getting too far into the, we're getting so far in the R&D process, my port is pretty much ready, and now I'm ready to use this. So this, I'm gonna be using this moving forward, and uh, I'm just doing a back-to-back. -back. So we just flow tested it the way it was, right? So I, air temperature, whole thing's the same, and now I'm gonna test it with the orifice, see what we got and then we're gonna sand it. Does sanding, does polishing, does the surface finish make a difference? That's the big question of the day. Let's find out. All right, so flow tested it with the orifice and not so surprisingly, it actually picked up, it picked up 10 CFM. Um, and this is also a lesson for you guys when you're purchasing a cylinder head, there is ways to manipulate the flow in order to get a better number. Now I'm manipulating it away, it's for the intake manifold, so I'm kind of trying to, um, uh, I'm using the, I, I can't even, all right, so now we're gonna sand it and we're gonna put it back on the flow bench and see if the surface finish actually makes a difference. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take all the grinding marks away and you can see here, I kind of started it and then over here there's nothing. So I'm gonna make all of the whole port, I'm gonna make it 60 grit. I'm gonna do that using an air grinder. I have an air grinder that has a front exhaust. It's a Clico grinder with a uh, cut down. This is like four inches with a three quarter by one and a half inch uh, cartridge roll. Um, so I use the big roll because it'll make it uh, faster and it'll also make it flatter because it's a bigger surface area. All right, so now I'm done sanding. You can come check it out. As you can see, I hit this all with a 60 grit. Now, this is ready for flow benching. We don't go any farther than a 60 grit on the intake and 120 on the exhaust. A lot of people will think that you need to mirror polish something for it to work. And the problem with that is when you mirror polish it, the air is gonna move so fast that the fuel will fall as suspense. Now, if this was a DI only, that might work we've never tried it but that might work but uh as i said at this level when you're going to do di um, and you're going to make a thousand plus horsepower you also are going to need port injection and the surface finish is going to keep the fuel off the walls and it won't puddle like it would if you mirror polished it now let's go to the flow bench How much CFM did we pick up by sanding? A whole whopping zero CFM. It didn't do shit. So we're all tidied up on the intake port. I'm gonna sand the exhaust port, and then we're gonna valve job and flow. That's our next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. 
and keep paying attention to watching this thing go. Toodles.